Hello everyone, this is Brianna Holloway, the Marketing Manager with the MSL Society, and today we have Heather Seashore, who is a Senior MSL with Janssen. Hi Heather, how are you? Hi, good, good, thank you. So Heather, we are just weeks away from the 7th Annual MSL Society Conference, and you will actually be speaking this year. Uh, if you could tell me a little bit about your topic, that would be awesome. Yeah, Brianna, thanks for asking. I'm super excited. This is actually my first year as a speaker. Um, and I have a big passion in my current role in regards to team culture and engagement. And having only been in MSL for just under three years, one of the big deficiencies I've noticed, at least within kind of our group and talking with other MSLs, is how to feel like you are part of something bigger than just your field-based position. So the title of my talk is Out on a Deserted Island, How to Become More Engaged with a Field-Based Employee. Oh, okay. <laughs> that sounds interesting. And, and you know, it's, it's a very important topic, and I'm glad that you'll be speaking. And hopefully, I will get to sit in on this session, because uh, I'm really interested in hearing more about it. Um, so why do you feel it's important to share this information with the MSL community? And, for, and to those uh, who may be attending who are aspiring MSLs. Right. So, um, you know, I, coming from a clinical background for 15 years, working in, a, working in an office setting and within a hospital setting and having, you know, those relationships that you develop with the people around you where you come in after a weekend and say, well, Brianna, how was your weekend? What did right. you do? And you start to develop those relationships very quickly. Right. What I've realized in our role is, not only are you or are we when you're field based, it's the great, it's the good and the bad, right? There's a lot mm -hmm. of autonomy and you can kind of, you know, dictate how you want your job or how your, your day to look, but it's also kind of isolating. And so I noticed, you know, one of my biggest challenges was wanting to feel connected with the other 40 counterparts right. um, on my team. Mm -hmm. And yet, it, it's taken, it takes a lot, it's more of a longitudinal relationship, not only with your teammates and your directors, but also even with your, your KOL relationships. Instead of developing a relationship with a doctor on your med surge floor that you see every day in rounds, you're seeing this provider, you know, spaced out over time. And so it's, yeah. it's understanding those challenges that we have in the field versus what is, what are different challenges that you are when you're more of an office based team. And, and there's, I think it's important both for seasoned MSLs as far and new MSLs and also mm -hmm. even those that direct um, MSLs of understanding kind of how to approach, not approach the person differently, but approach the working situation and kind of learning more of feeling that camaraderie and that, belong, uh, that belonging. Yeah. Um, and so I'm excited about my talk. I'm going to, you know, the, the objectives of the talk are kind of to just set the stage as far as differences. Um, not only in how people feel more or less engaged, but mm -hmm. also how does that affect productivity? How does that affect um, promotions? How does that affect even just face-to-face -face projects to get maybe pushed through faster when you're in an office setting versus when you're out in the field? But I also want to give everybody, whether you're a director or you're an MSL on your own team, we're going to do some fun um, engage in activities, some, some activities that you can do when you're all together, if you're fortunate enough like we are to get together in person once or twice a year, but also right. activities that you can implement if you don't get together, things that you can do to just increase that belonging, like I keep saying on a team. And then I want you to walk away from my workshop. So it's going to be lecture style, but also very interactive. Uh -huh. And at the end of it, you'll walk away with activities and ideas and tools that no matter where, where you are on your, on your team hierarchy, you can implement them and try to increase this culture and engagement. Because I feel like the more that you feel like you belong to something bigger than yourself, mm -hmm. the more that I think that, there's, I think that there's a lot more retention and um, just ownership, if, mm -hmm. for lack of a better word. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, this, that sounds really awesome. I mean, and, and you brought up a lot of great, a lot of great points because – you know, just for me on the outside looking in, I would think it, it is about balance um, and being aware of the different environments that your counterparts are in and just keeping that, um, as you said, that communication, that engagement and keeping that culture alive because it, you do feel 
more um, a part of the group when, you know, when you're more interacting, more, you interact with them more and you're uh, in touch and keep in touch with everyone. So I think this is going to be a very uh, well-received workshop and I'm looking forward to participating <laughs> um, in some <laughs> of your activities as well, uh, because I'm sure there's things that I can take away from it too. Um, yeah. Yeah. So in addition to your talk, what would you say you're looking forward to most? at this year's conference? You know what? I'm, I'm excited just to experience the MSL Society. I, um, <laughs> I like I said, I'm brand new to the organization and, and very blessed to, to be able to be one of the speakers there. So I'm excited to just understand more of what the annual meeting offers, getting to network with other MSLs, not within my company. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I interact with others when we're at, you know, national conferences and such, but you never know who is who when you're at a conference of, 15,000 people. So it'll be interesting to just understand different teams and their cultures and different organization structure, but just even in, just even the networking, but um, meeting other people that have been in your role. Well, everything sounds fantastic. Thank you so much for being able to get on the latest buzz with me today, Heather. And to those who are listening, make sure you go and register for our upcoming seventh annual MSL Society Conference. This is an event you do not 